first we are going to be talking about DuckDuckGo. Now I actually uh, made a false statement because I thought that uh, Google had something to do with DuckDuckGo. In fact, they do, but they have it's it's hearsay and it, they don't actually um, they're not owned by the same person. It was just like a, a obscure connection, um, but nothing like Google owns DuckDuckGo because that's not true. And I was grateful to find out because I use DuckDuckGo and I do not trust Google because since, uh, I mean, even last week I had a Google whistleblower t tell me about how the algorithms absolutely are manipulated by Google to show us what they want us to see instead of just the raw results, which is what I would prefer to. Now, um, DuckDuckGo is my go-to. I've been using DuckDuckGo for a couple years now. It's been a long time. So it worried me when I found I thought that it might have something to do with Google, but turns out it doesn't. So I've been using DuckDuckGo, and then this weekend. Now it's not that they manipulate the results. That isn't what this story is about. This is in fact about their hiring processes, and this was brought to my attention by a Gateway Pundit via Libs of TikTok. Check this story out. The tw their Twitter account was temporarily suspended for sharing emails appearing to show discrimination by DuckDuckGo. Yes, discrimination. They were trying to, someone was trying to get a job for DuckDuckGo and sent in their resume and got a response saying, sorry, we're going with a more qualified choice. And this same person proceeded to send in a false fake um, resume. And I actually have that here. Let me let me go to this image here. Okay, so this is it. They're side by side. Okay, we got the original recipe, uh, excuse, recipe, uh, original resume here on the on the left side with Chris, and then the faked resume with Aliyah Amani, and uh, and then of course it says Pride and Diversity right underneath it. So you got mobile developer and then Pride and Diversity, definitely lays it on thick okay he goes i'm a mobile developer and i have worked in the industry for 12 years i have uh, extensive experience in developing and designing uh, native ios apps using objective c suite uh, xcode and i'm passionate about writing quality code and building suitable apps and solutions that meet the high expectations of today's users and businesses that's a good open if you ask me i mean that's quality Nice, I like it. And then let's see what he did with his fake resume here from Aliyah Amani. I am a mobile developer. I have worked in the industry for five years. I have extensive experience in developing and designing native iOS apps using Objective C, Swift, and Xcode. I am passionate about willing, uh, writing quality code and building suitable apps and solutions that meet the high expectations of today's users and business. Very, very similar. Very similar. In fact, both of these are rather similar, all the way up to uh, the faked application questions, which is, I mean, they, they definitely leaned into it, if you know what I mean, all right? His resume was quite good, a uh, solid resume, where the, uh, the fake resume was leaning into, you know, the woke ideology. And then we get down to the end, which it shows Duck Duck's DuckDuckGo's response. Now, here's the response to his actual resume. Hi, Chris. Thank you for your interest in joining DuckDuckGo. While we appreciate your application, we decided to move forward with other candidates whose skills and experience are closer matched to our requirements for this specific role. Feel free to check back as we are always adding new positions. Best of luck with your career search. Okay, so I just want to go back up to the top. His real resume showed that he had more experience, a uh, longer time in the industry, and the other person had much less experience in the industry. But as we see here, they actually moved the fake resume on to the next round. Hey, Aaliyah, we are so excited that you've applied for the senior iOS engineer worldwide remote role with us. We hit, uh, here at DuckDuckGo. I've really enjoyed reading your application and think that you could be a fit. Before we get the ball rolling, I want to share with you more context around how we evaluate candidates. I mean, 
They tokenized her. They chose her as a token. It's very clear. And that's what happened. Now, Libs of TikTok is known for showing all this hypocrisy, craziness, crazy eyes, uh, leftist liberals that are on TikTok just sharing these crazy videos where they think they're being so virtuous online, when in reality, they're, they're very blatantly crazy talking online like they know what they're talking about and that really annoys me too is when someone is telling you all these facts and saying you need to know this because this and this reason and you're racist if you don't follow my what i'm saying right now because i went to some sort of uh school and my doctorate ends with studies mm -hmm. or i'm sure none of them are actually doctors uh, but they certainly act like they are doctors but shout out to libs of TikTok because it is a fantastic fantastic twitter follow anyway so they they posted this picture and they got suspended for it libs of TikTok has only um existed for 11 months but they already have over 300,000 followers the viral video powerhouse has led to propagandist teachers being fired abusive liberals being exposed and much much more i just i gotta give a, a little shout out to libs of TikTok because they really are doing amazing work Anyway, they posted this. Oh, well, what happened? They violate our rules against posting private information. Ah, you may not publish or post other people's private information without their express authorization and permission. And this was the tweet that they had to delete. Very interesting. At DuckDuckGo has some explaining to do, and they posted this picture, which is the one that has uh, the information. Now, it does have Diana Co some Diana K, I don't know how to say her last name, uh, actually at her, with her email address. So maybe that's what it was about. Like they should have um, co covered that up, you know, redacted that part of it. Um, but at the same time, it's proving that it's actually someone from DuckDuckGo. Now they got this from 4chan, I believe that's where they got it. Yeah, on Sunday, Libs of TikTok tweeted out screenshots that were posted on 4chan of a user saying that they were rejected by a job by DuckDuckGo, but when they applied as a less qualified black lesbian, they were moved to second rounds of interviews. The user had included screenshots of their exchange, alleging that they were passed over because they are a white man. Quote, I've been working as a mobile developer for 12 years. I'm a straight white male who knows what the F I am doing in my occupation, but lately I'm struggling to find another place to work, the 4chan user wrote. I applied for a job at DuckDuckGo and got told to go F myself right away. So I reapplied as a black lesbian, five years of experience, who can't program or spell. They are moving me to the second round of interviews. And here is the post from 4chan. Now, I have reason to believe this is real. It actually has her, of course, in interesting enough, Diana's email was um, redacted in this picture, but not this one. I'm not sure why they would have made that decision to do that. But speaking to the Gateway Pundit, the owners of the Libs of TikTok account said that they can they find it odd that DuckDuckGo markets itself as protecting privacy and being accessible for all yet appear to be aiding big tech censorship and be aided by big tech censorship because it seems like Twitter probably didn't want people to find out about this. I mean, and let's be real. It feels like everyone's involved here. All the big tech giants, you know they all talk. You know they're all in cahoots with each other to try to control the narrative. I'll be honest. I was kind of suspecting a strike after um, basically calling out Google for the algorithms that we or myself has alluded to because I've talked about voter fraud. I've talked about all the things that I have over the past year. Those who watch my show regularly know I, I kind of thread the needle, ride the line between what they don't like and what I can get away with, right? Because I have gotten strikes for giving my raw opinion on um, COVID and the vaccines. You know, I'm not gonna get into that right now, but I know that they have an algorithm that works in, for their favor. 
okay? I, I know it. I had a Google employee last week explain it to me. Eight and a half years he worked there. And he left because of it. He was like, I can't do this. And went to Project Veritas in 2019. So I know it exists. So now we have DuckDuckGo, which I have been trusting to keep my information private, my searches private, to give me actual results instead of giving me fluff like Google does. I, I And I'm going to... I, I did it with uh, the Johnny Depp thing. Later on, I'm going to talk about it. Because I, I went to Google and I was like, you know what? Let's just see what pops up. I, I like to see what pops up to see the difference between DuckDuckGo and Google. And there is a big difference. So I still tend to trust DuckDuckGo. But for how long? Everything woke turns to shit. Excuse me, my language. Uh, that is a quote from Donald Trump from a couple weeks back when he had a rally. And it certainly is true, isn't it? I mean, look at the NBA. Who watches the NBA anymore? SNL. Who watches SNL anymore? It's not even funny. It's just a bunch of activists shoving their ideology down their throat with a, an applause sign flashing. And everyone's like, oh, that's so good. They totally own those conservatives. It's not funny anymore. Too many people are waking up and their ratings are bombing. You know, is uh, DuckDuckGo going to turn woke completely? Maybe. If they keep hiring people on uh, the token, just for token instead of meritocracy. See, I believe in meritocracy. I think that's the way we should do things. Are you the best at the job? Oh, oh no. Are, are you a black owned business? Are you a, a, a woman a, of color whatever they they seem to need to push to the front it doesn't matter is it the best product that's what i want i want the best product i don't care what your skin color is this is this is happening everywhere i have fr I, i've been around family i have family that run businesses and they they are have higher ups that are telling them like you need to own you need to have a specific uh have percentage of people of color now and i'm like well isn't that a little racist i mean wouldn't you just want the best for the job what if everyone who's who is best for the job happens to be a person of color now let me just if that's the case would that be wrong then would they need to then hire some white people to balance it out i think it's ridiculous the best person for the job should get the job, period. That's how it should be. And I can't believe that that's not the case. So DuckDuckGo, please um, answer for this. Because guess what? They haven't. They haven't. They haven't answered for this. Gateway Pundit reached out to uh, DuckDuckGo for comment and they haven't responded. Not really surprising because this is rather embarrassing. I just imagine being told you need help because you're not good enough. You're not you're not a, as uh, motivated to get a, a job, to gain experience, to get into a position. So we're going to just hire you because of your skin color. No, we're not hiring because you're good at the job. We're hiring you because of your skin color, because of your gender, because of your sexual orientation. Is that not demeaning? It is demeaning. At least for me, that's how I feel about it. It seems awfully demeaning. You are less than. They are the racist. The people that are adhering to this. That are going, alright, fine. We need a certain percentage of people. I don't even care if you're good or not. What's that going to do to our society? People are now going to look at these people that get the job and go, you didn't even really get that job. It's And it's just going to be because of skin color, because of sexual orientation, because of the, the ideologies that they're being pushed to just fill boxes. Okay, we got the token this person, we got the token that person. Well, does the machine work well? Does the business run smoothly? No, but that's okay. We got our diversity hires. Woo! Nice job, woke people. Well, they, they're running on emotions. They don't care. They think that they're getting victories. They think that this is what they needed. They're like, yes, we, we have equality now. I'm sorry, equity? That's really what it is. It's equity. It's not equality. It's, it's pushing us back. 
It's making it harder for these people to be respected as a human being like everyone should be. Everyone should work hard to get the position. And if you, if you work hard and you get the position, awesome. Because you would deserve it. That's how it should be. So duck, duck, go. Shame on you. Shame on you. For, for choosing a fake profile that was a bait. And you took it and ran with it because of diversity hires.